Let's take a break. <laughs> Grab it on a bush. So we are uh, we're out at the Nail Ranch here in Albany, Texas. This is my dog Rebel. So I'd get him a little exercise. And this is you know a typical ranch run. Of course, on the Nail Ranch, it's a hellacious ranch run. Uh, we've been about I'd say four to five miles down this road. Stopped at a tank to work on some retrieving drills and. Now I'm just gonna kind of creep along and let him get some exercise. I want to obviously, uh, you know, obviously number one, I'm I'm stone cold sober. It's uh, 9:15 in the morning. I uh, just really you don't want to take your dog out on on a ranch road and stuff when you've been drinking. Um, just put him in the car if you, if you if you must drink and drive, even though you're on a ranch road. Uh, you just don't want to endanger that dog, and you got to have your uh, concentration with you. Um, you can see we're just going to move down this road. I'm parking along at about six, seven miles an hour. Um, I'd say the, the speed, ranch run, this is a good speed, anywhere between, you know, two miles an hour to, to ten miles an hour. Um, anything over ten, you, you know, the dog needs to be kind of run around and check scents and stuff like that. Anything over ten, uh, yeah, I guess it's more of a sprint. Um, you know, they, they really want to, you want your dog working the road, let them get out, check out the scents. That's, that's more about the the total ranch run than uh, you know just the straight running exercise. So we'll let him uh, when he catches wind of something, you know, just shoot off the side. Oh, there's a flight of ducks. <laughs> there you go. That's promising. Looks like teal season might be good out here. Uh, anyway, so we'll just run along like this. I think it's about another um, you know, four miles out of here. I mean, that's kind of the way it goes out here at the Nail Ranch. You got big. Big country, rolling hills. Uh, there are a lot of hogs out here, but I'm going to watch them carefully. I, I haven't really, um, not really looking to hunt hogs um, with Rebel. He's one of our you know, breeding studs. I want to keep him safe, and I, I'm not really a big hog dogger, but uh, you know, we got a cattle guard coming up here, so we'll see how he he can either address this straight on or go around it. But uh, it's a pretty big cattle guard. It's the first time down this road. Oh, there's a fence on either side, so let's see if he can get over this. Um, I don't know if he can get over it. Let's uh, let's uh, see if we can't uh, get out and give him a little help. This is a, a much larger cattle guard than than what we have on my place or that he's been exposed to. So he may have to. You can see this thing is <laughs> quite large. Um, well. So what he's going to do there is just walk over it. Maybe able to make it in a full bound, but actually, uh, I'm okay with that tiptoe cross. Um, shows intelligence and lack of risk taking. Oh, well, he came back. I don't know how he did that, but let's watch him go over it again. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, there's the there's the full bound. So it's really just a matter of getting these dogs comfortable with. Their environment. You want to do a lot of ranch runs to get them really comfortable, so they they understand their environment and they're they're safe in it. You know, so you take dogs out like this and you haven't run them much. All kinds of things can go wrong. You know, everything from teaching them not to get into skunks to uh, you know getting a leg caught in a cattle guard or something like that. Anyway, we'll continue on this run. Probably I think it's about another three miles. Um, get him some exercise, load him up, and let him rest before the heat comes out. So we're plugging along right at uh, 10 miles an hour with Rebel, and we got up to about, I don't know, maybe 12, 15 in places. I went right around 12 right now. It's a pretty decent speed. Uh, it's got a straight road here. If it's, if it's a, you know, less straight road, you're going to want to go slower. But the most important thing is you can see kind of the hood of my car, and the distance between my hood and my dog is pretty great. And uh, so if something happens, I've got plenty of time to react. If he stops to, to smell something, I mean, you don't know, there could have been a coon or a fox or something across this road. And when he crosses that scent, he's gonna, he's gonna lock up. So you just don't wanna be right on their tails. And as, as the dog's you know, slowing down, we're, we're pumping up a hill and we're on about mile five or six here, I'd say. Um, but I still keep him out in front. So you really, I, I prefer to have a dog out in front where I can see him and stay concentrated on them. So uh, this, this is a good area to, to run my dog here. We're out, we're out at the Nail Ranch, and this is my dog, Rebel. 
Um, part of the problem out here is you get a lot of people. It's not a problem. It's just you know when people are out here having a good time. You get people, you know, drinking. These aren't you know these aren't public roads. Uh, these are just ranch roads. But I want to be sure that um, you know the other thing is some of the some of the ranchers that live around here won't name any names tend to drive you know real quick, real erratic. I mean they're used to having to drive you know five miles on a road like this just to get to the to the paved road, and then they get to drive for 20 minutes to go get some milk. So um, what I want to do is I just want to get him in an area where I can, I can see that he's safe. And you can see right up here we're coming up over a hill where I'm not going to be able to see. So when I go over that hill, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him over to the right side of the road. Anyway, just, just food for thought. I think a ranch run is very important for, for your lacy dogs, uh, very important for the relationship with you and your lacy dog. Uh, but safety is absolutely uh, the first priority. Let me get him off here. Rebel! Rebel! What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm gonna kind of get him on the side of the road here, as we uh, as we pull over this hill, just in case somebody comes zipping up this road. Now he's gonna dodge, but you know it's only so much you can do if someone's going 40, 50. I mean, you see this straightaway. I mean, someone could really be busting through here. Um, you could easily get you know 50 miles an hour on this ranch road. So uh, I guess the most important thing, as always, when you're out sporting and enjoying the outdoors, safety is the the most important factor. Anyway, let's get back up on the road here where we can. Uh, where we can see again and uh, enjoy the rest of our ranch run. This is, you know, pretty typical. Uh, what you'll see, you see Rebel caught wind of something, you know, he hops over to the side of the road. And what they'll do is they'll just kind of run along the road and then when they go off to the side, I slow down to, I was there about, you know, one, two miles an hour. Let him, let him pan out, you know, over here as far as he wants to go. Um, you know, look for stuff. And uh, then we get back on track and pick up the pace to about, you know, between 8 and 12 miles an hour is, you know, what my speedometer shows. So I'm just trying to give you an idea of, you know, a good pace to go. I feel extremely safe here. I can see up the road. I can see behind me. And um, you can see the dog is, you know, way comfortably in front of me. Um, you know, so this is, you know, I would say an extremely safe situation.